What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joe Easy. Welcome to another edition of Joe Easy Delivers and my long time viewers. Welcome back to my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Thursday, February 9th, and this is how much we made so far during the week. Considering the, that we did not work on Wednesday, we took the day off on Wednesday. We decided, you know what, I'm just going to take the day off. So we took the day off on Wednesday, and this is how much we made so far considering that. On Instacart, we made $213.66. That's it. We just did Instacart. We have done Instacart the whole week. The plan for today. Okay, I did a community post asking my people, like, hey, how's the 3 to 11 shift? 3 p.m. to 11. And a lot of people say it's good. You know, it's less traffic, which is what I want. A lot less traffic. One person said that a lot of people order at nighttime, which is good. I think it was either Alexander Johns or Shoujo, one of them, said that the bots really don't work at nighttime. So you're competing with, which is true. You're only competing with like the newbie people, the new people, maybe people that work like a nine to five job and then they're doing some shopping at nighttime. So those, so you're not really competing with that many people at nighttime, which that is also true. And there was another comment saying, I don't know if this is, seems, seems like a genius strategy. He said that he works until like one o'clock in the morning. He stays by a, a Wendy's or a Taco Bell and he just accepts orders until one o'clock. And I'm like, bro, that's a, that's a great idea. I might do it. I might do it guys uh, at 10 o'clock though. I'm gonna work to 11 o'clock p.m. today. The strategy is going to be, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna stay on Instacart the most of the day because I don't wanna be taking little, little food delivery orders until dinner time. Dinner time, I will turn on the apps. How about this? I'll turn on Uber Eats like at 12 o'clock to see what happens. Cause right now it's nine o'clock. 12 o'clock, I'll turn on Uber Eats, see if I can get some Uber Eats orders. But for now, I'll stay on Instacart and then I will turn on DoorDash at nighttime, like at seven o'clock PM when the traffic slows down, I will do DoorDash orders and earn by time DoorDash orders and that is it. That's gonna be the strategy. Okay, that's it. And I'm gonna be studying while I'm waiting for orders. Now, with all that being said, all that being said, I took the day off from the gym today. I'm gonna take the day off from the gym tomorrow. Uh, there was a friend that is not gonna go to the gym today or tomorrow, so I decided, you know what, let me just take advantage, take the day off because my arm has been kind of hurting. And like, you know, it's, 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 I, haven't been, I haven't been nursing it, guys. I haven't been nursing my arm. So I'm like, you know what, let me take advantage, take four days off for the gym, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, usually when I don't go to the gym, I don't feel the same, but we will see what happens. Now, let's stop talking so much smack with all that being said, don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube button. If you like this video at the end and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe all my people before you go, man. Just so you know. Sip that zo, baby. Man, I don't like I don't like this can. I don't like how it looks, but whatever. Sip that zo. Now let's have and go. The time is 9.50 in the morning and we accepted our first order of the day. Okay. It's a $9 order. I'm gonna take these orders for four items. That's it, Publix. Let's go get it, let's do it. All right, we made it to the playground, Publix. Let's get these $9 for four items. Let's go. We need one of these Cafe La Llave. I never really said that out loud. We also need this Lando Lakes half and half, half and half. We need these granulated sugar packets. Okay, the last item is this plastic straw thingy majiggy that I kind of never, it's always not easy to get. The straws here, you see 40 count. I need the 100 count and they don't have the 100 count here. Where's it at? Oh, it's these little tiny straw stringers. Okay, all right, okay. That's it, we're done. All right, it's been three minutes and we are done. That's it, these four items. Let's go pay for this and deliver, let's go. The time is 10.30 in the morning and we accepted another $9 order for four items. Guys, did you guys see LeBron James pass the highest scoring? Look, guys, look. I'm going to talk a little bit about consistency. LeBron James, yeah, he's natural. He's naturally talented and this and that. He has a, he has a god given gift, right? But... When I tell you that that's the only thing that got him where he's at, I'm gonna, I would, I, I'm gonna tell you that I'm, I'm lying because that is not true. He is consistently working towards his craft. He is maintaining his body. 
he is recovering. I think I saw an interview one time. Someone asked him like, hey, how much do you sleep? And he said, he said, oh, I don't know. Well, last night I went to sleep at 12, woke up at eight, had breakfast, went to sleep at 12 again. Like he sleeps and eat, plays basketball, sleeps, eat, play. He does not go out to the club like a lot of people do, like James Harden does. James Harden goes to the club. He goes to the strip club all the time. I mean, yeah, he's still great, but now he's like falling off. Not even, he's not even that old and he's already falling off, you know, and because he's he's playing around. He's playing around, man. He has natural talent, but he doesn't really care that much. LeBron James, he works on his craft all the time, all the time. Da 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 da. You know? So and he has his wife, you know, that he doesn't go around, you know, going around with other people and this and that. He's focused and he's able to maintain it for so many years. And he's 38, guys. He's almost 40. Same thing with Tom Brady. He's like 40 something, 44, 43. You know, now he, you know, he fell off the wagon because of his divorce, not because he's old, which a lot of people get twisted. It's not because he's old. It's because, you know, he started doing bad because his mind wasn't right. His mind wasn't at it. He wasn't doing his probably, he's probably wasn't like in his regular craft, his routine, you know, because he had his divorce and he had to deal with his kids and his family. And that mess that you know to to play at a high level like that, you have to maintain a certain routine. If you're getting old already, if you're young, if you're 22, 23, yeah, you can do whatever you want. But as you get older, you know, like my arm, I'm getting older. My arm is not the same. You know, I gotta start warming up now and stretching. I know, but whatever. Okay, let's get this nine dollar order, four items. Let's go get it. Okay, we made it to paradise again. Let's go get these four items. I think there's beer, which I don't like it, but whatever. Let's get it. The first item is a uh, Bud Light beer, and it's always funny how it says that the is mainstream beer, mainstream beer. Oh, so it's just a six pack, a six pack of Bud Light. That was like a twelve pack. Next, we need a Zephyr Hills, Zephyr Hills water. Oh, this is not it actually. It's the twelve. Oh, the 20, 24 pack. No, they they requested a twelve pack, not twenty four. this one let me see if it's this one no this is not it we need a 12 by 16 oh I think I know which one it is all right so they don't have it guys they don't have the 12 by 16 okay so I guess they asked for the six pack but is this even this is no this is not even man this is crazy so they don't have their first option or their second option. So I'm gonna just take a picture of this 24 pack, I guess. See if they want this one. That's crazy, man. Ah, they just responded, guys. They said, yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna get the 24 pack. So let's get the 24. So the customer wants me to replace the Bud Light six pack for the, for the 12 pack. Let's see if the app lets me. I think it does. I think it does let you replace. Let's see. Oh, they they actually requested this as a replacement, so I think it's yeah, it's good. Okay, so let me do it, guys. I know there there was uh, I think um I forgot who it was asked like hey I don't know I don't think you could replace beer and but yeah it lets me replace it so I'm good. I think the only problem with the with the alcohol is that you can't really add. You can't add it. Like I think I was able to add it once in um, Total Wine, but like Publix and stuff, you can't do it. Okay, Lean Cuisine Four Cheese Pizza. This is Four Cheese. I don't know. Maybe it's the same. I don't know. We'll see. It's a different picture. Oh yeah, this is it right here. Okay, cool. We're done, man. I think this order kind of took us longer than I like. Okay, it's been 13 minutes and we are done. 13 minutes for me, I don't really like it. I'd rather take less than 10 minutes for items that are at least four. But the water took me some time. I mean, I thought about it too much. This deli stuff, it wasn't ready, so I had to wait for it. And then the beer, I had to go back. And this is a big store, guys. This is a big public, so like to go from one side to the other, it takes forever. But it's all good. We were done. Let's pay for this and deliver. Later. <laughs> My people, the time is 12.30 p.m. and we accepted a $9 order. It's going to be $9 orders all day, I guess, for five items. Let's get the party started. Let's do it.
We are going to need a few of these sparkling waters, six in total. So the first one, raspberry right here, two grape raspberries, two black raspberries right here. Oh my goodness, we just got the last two cherry limeades. I got lucky. Okay, we need one of these things right here. I don't even know what this is, but we need one. The last item, I don't think it's here, guys. I don't think it's here. I mean, I could check if this is it, but I, I, the picture's different. This is watermelon and something else. No, you see? They want the berry lemon, the berry lemon ones, which is not here, guys. Strawberry lemon, raspberry lemon. They don't have. Alright, so I'm gonna take a picture of all these options that they have, plus this one right here, the blueberry one. So I'm gonna put this like this on top so the customer sees all the options. Okay, my people, it's been pretty much almost eight minutes and we are done. We're just waiting for the customer to respond on these uh this ice cream. Let's give them a few minutes and then we will pay for this and deliver that's it okay so i waited like five minutes it's already been like 14 minutes i'm just gonna give them this the watermelon and strawberry instead of refunding it uh, maybe i should refund it but i mean <sighs> i'm gonna take the risk and just give them that hopefully they like it all right let's go all right the time is 1 41 p.m and we accepted a nine dollar order for two items that is it, let's go get it. I don't even need a cart, I just go straight through. All right, item number one is right here. Item two is right here, aisle four, some toothpaste, and then we are done. I think this is it, let's see, let us see. This is it, baby, let's go. It has been one minute. We are done, that's it. Let's go pay for this and start delivering. Let's go. All right, my people, let's have some lunch. We switched it up a little bit. We bought chicken kitchen, but look how much this thing costs, man. A large, okay, yeah, fine. I got a large chicken chopper chop. All right, wow. Sue me, right? For $13, okay. And I was like, hey, can I get that extra chicken breast? They're like, okay, yeah. So ended up being $16 plus they're making us give us give them a tip. I went there. I didn't do delivery. I went to pick it up, and then they did the tip. And you already know I'm not gonna put zero. I'm not gonna be one of those. So I put the max, which is eighteen percent, three bucks, twenty dollars for this. Now you tell me, guys, is this worth it? I'm gonna start. You know what? It's official. I'm gonna start cooking. But man, I have I, one of the reasons why I don't cook is because I'm gonna have to take time to cook. That takes some time. Yeah, I could probably meal prep. I'll find out. Maybe I'll meal prep in the weekend. But man, there's only so many hours in the day. So and I and and I'm tacking it on this new project. So imagine, like, I'm gonna have to. Oh my goodness. So whatever. I'm gonna find a way to cook. And then because I'm 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 not trying to give these restaurants my money anymore. They're not now. They're abusing. Now they're abusing their their power. Their inflation power. And it's up to us to. To put to to slap them back into reality by not buying from their establishments. Pollo tropical is actually not bad. It's eight eighty seven for two chicken breasts, two chicken breasts, rice and beans, and look at this Ch chicken kitchen twenty bucks just like that for two chicken breasts. Well, hey, I paid for it, guys. It's all good. Let's just uh, never go there again to chicken kitchen and let's eat. Okay, the time is 3.15 p.m. and we accept it. And all these orders, okay, all right. All these $11 orders for 10 items. 39 units, but it's like a bunch of bananas. And I think, oh man, I think there's milk, like four milks. Dang, you know what, this order probably might not be worth it. Let me go check. Oh, it's not that bad, guys. It's just 14 bananas, that's it. First item is these things, get four of these. Also need 14 bananas. So let's get 14 of these things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, right here. This is good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, wait. 
I'm like counting this wrong. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I gotta break one. These fourteen bananas weigh, yeah, let's just say four pounds. Oh wow, the mayonnaise are right here, right next to me. So I gotta get, oh no, wait. This one right here, this brand, three of them. Gotta get two marshmallows, two of these things right here. Two. Okay, we need two of these cooking sprays over here. Oh, guys, I just saw this now. Five of these milks I gotta get. Snap! Five of these milks. Imagine. And then one of these. One of the blue ones. Okay, I gotta get four. Four of this oat milk. Man, I messed up, guys. I wouldn't have taken this if I knew it was so much milk. Well, whatever we're, we're, we're already here we need one half and half of these things right here last item is uh this whipping cream here gotta get three okay guys it's been nine minutes and we are done if i knew there was so much milk i would have taken it and i'm not saying that to be ungrateful and be like oh i don't want to deliver it to the customer and this and that like, no ungrateful customer no i don't like that's not what it is thing is that i would have rather waited for this to go up and then somebody else take it for more money you know what i'm saying um not because of the tip but because this could have sat a little bit longer and then someone would have taken it for a little bit more but i took it kind of like blindly i saw 10 items and I, oh i'm good but whatever we did this already it's okay we're gonna be grateful that we got something because we've been we've been doing nothing the whole day I, I've been watching videos, YouTube videos, and, you know, learning and stuff, so I'm not wasting time, but I have been in the parking lot, you know, not doing orders. So, we got this, let's pay for this, and deliver. Please place the card into the card reader and follow the instructions. Well, this place has a self-checkout already, and check out my packing skills. I love it. all right i just want to show you guys real quick my packing skills i got the milk here i got this whipping cream here well, the other whipping creams are over here oh make sure it doesn't fall i got the half and halves there and then the two paper bags in here all right let's go deliver this can I deliver the milk Okay, the time is 4.06 p.m. and we accepted a Publix $9 order. I know, I know. I haven't turned on the food apps yet because I've been studying and I don't want to be, honestly, I don't want to be working, at least not now. Maybe at night time so I could get to 100 bucks super quick. But for now, I was, I was just trying to study, guys, you know what I'm saying? Because I have a big project coming up. But uh, let's get this $9 order real quick. Let's go. First item is this thing right here, roses, cocktail mix, grenade syrup or whatever. We gotta get a cold beer, but we'll get that last. So two of these small shells here. I don't know why they have this so far away. I guess this is all where the gluten-free is. So gluten-free spaghetti, two of them. We need two, no, four light red bean, kidney beans, two light red. No, four. We need a three pound Manhattan rice. The last two items are ice cream and beer. So a cold item and a frozen item. And then we're done. Vanilla ice cream. The last item is this Amster Light 12 pack. And we are done. Okay, it's been six minutes and we are done. This is all we have right here. Let's go pay for this. Everything was in stock. Let's pay for this and deliver. Let's go. All right, my people. The time is 4.35 and we completed. That $9 order, I couldn't record it because the customer went out right away, right quick. So I couldn't put, I couldn't put my camera and stuff like that. But we're done with that $9 order. Let's continue, man. Let's do it. <laughs> I missed another $9. I'll go back to Publix and... 
I'm driving on the street and then I see a nine dollar Walgreens for for three items. I mean, no, no big deal, not a banger, but it was on my way, like on my way in my street. I'm like, oh, perfect. This would be like a an on the way back order that I love those. And then someone took it, man. Someone took it. I I thought about it for two seconds. That's it. Two and I I I, I, I after two seconds I hit the accept, but it was too, already too late. Already too late. Nine dollars, three items. I love the on the way back orders. I don't know. I don't know if you guys do those or if you guys really care. But every time I do, I get a good order on the way back to my spot. It's amazing because it's like not lost miles, you know. Uh, but we, oh, we got another order. We'll see. Well, there was another nine dollar order on the notifications, but I was recording, and by the time I opened the app, I couldn't see it. So, but it's all good. It's all good. We're gonna go back to our spot. Downtime doesn't mean wasted time in the Joe Easy world anymore. No, not anymore, guys. Downtime make equals downtime equals learning time. So every single hour of the of every single moment that we're awake, we're gonna be doing something to grow, to grow ourselves. Remember, I tell you, I tell you guys on a lot of not all my videos, but some of my videos that we have to the key to happiness is progress. I, uh, Tony Robbins says that, but I'm going to tell you guys that too. The key to happiness is progress. We have to be progressing every single day, getting better, getting better. Find a way to get better, guys. Find a way to get better, and and that's it, guys. I'm, I already found a way to get better while I'm waiting for orders. Before, I was watching Netflix, and then after a while, I was getting I was getting a little worried, man, Like, because you, you, we already know. Since the beginning of the year, 2023, it's been super slow. Yeah, the January is always slow, but then we're we're getting into February now, and then February is slow, and it's like, oh my goodness! So it's like I was starting to feel like, man, I'm wasting a lot of time, man, and that's why I did that community post asking, oh, what do you guys think about the 3 p.m. to 11 shift? Because I want to start, and then I had I had started a, uh, you know, I decided I'm gonna start a project, so I'm like, okay, what can I do so I can work on this project? And then do deliveries, but not have any downtime doing nothing. And then now I'm finding finding ways to maximize my down my my productivity during my downtime. So during my downtime, I I'm learning and this and that. So we're you know like I was saying, the 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 key to happiness is progress. We have to keep growing, keep growing. You know now I finally have something that I'm growing while I'm waiting for order. So it's good. So I'm I'm I'm. I'm, I'm on the roll again. I'm happy. I'm happy. Boom, boom. We're doing this and that. Okay, let's wait for another order. Let's stop talking so much smack. Let's go. Okay, the time is 4.57 p.m. And we accepted an $11 order for eight items. Let's go get it. Publix Instacart. All right, we made it to paradise. Let's get these seven items. They look, or not. Now it's eight items. Okay. No, it's easy, though. Easy items. Let's get it. Okay, we gotta get one of these palm granadas. Look, I'm using this. I'm using the the Instacart map feature to get to the, um, the to this item that doesn't have an aisle. It just says dry grocery. This item, which is uh, I don't even know what this is a mighty sesame organic squeezable tahini paste. Oh, it could be like in the Asian section, maybe. So aisle three, not two. Let me check here, aisle two. All right, so it's not here. This thing lied to me. Aha, we found it guys right here. It was in the Asian section. Let's go. Okay, we need this Sir Kenningston's classic mayonnaise, I guess. And we also need Chipotle mayonnaise. Chipotle mayonnaise. Imagine that. Where's it at though? Oh my goodness. Five minutes later. I've been here forever trying to look for this. I finally found it. The Chipotle mayonnaise. Genoa salad or whatever you pronounce it. Hold on, this other item, it says that it's here, look. I don't know if you can see it. This this cheese that is always like, I, I figured out where I, I learned how to get this cheese. At first it was hard, but now it is good. Laughing cow, the laughing cow cheese. Okay, this customer wants lactose free reduced milk, but which, which percentage? They want the 2%, which is right here. So we're good. April 1, April Fool's Day. Last item is the Mexican cheese, but the 16 ounce. Nah, that's the 8 ounce. Do they have it here? Yeah, they have it here. Okay, 
have it here, but they have it hidden behind all these other stuff. And people playing with us. Okay, we got it. It has been 14 minutes and we are done. It took us, yes, it took us 14 minutes to get this. But we had some hiccups along the way, but it's all good. Let's go pay for this and deliver. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much you made for the day. On Instacart, that's it. On Instacart, we made $96.58. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, the last customer came in clutch with a $5 cash tip, yo! I got a $5 cash tip for the customer! The last order. So there was only two orders that we did not record, and I'm gonna tell you uh, those orders right now. We did one order not recorded, an $18.13 order, $7 base pay, $11.13 tip, and then a, the this, this is the customer that gave me a $5 cash tip. It was a $10.10 order, $7 base pay, $3.10 tip. It was a new customer set on the app. But that's how much we made, $101.58. After I got these five bucks, I mean, I'm going home to study a little bit more. So I went home early, guys, I apologize. But if you made it to the end of this journey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you wanna watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe all my people, have a good day. Bless up out there, stay strong, stay positive. If nothing's going right or if, or if you're having a tough time, stay strong, stay strong. You got this, guys. You got this. It's your boy, Joe Easy. Let's go.